Hello, beautiful soul, and welcome to the Hills Hiller Tarot. My name is Angel. Thank you so much for joining me here on my channel, where we learn, grow, and expand together, working to raise the collective consciousness, one unique soul at a time. This channel is dedicated to spiritual enlightenment, self-actualization, and aligning to meaning and purpose in life. So if that is something that you are interested in, then you are in the perfect place at the perfect time for the perfect reason. Whenever you come across this reading, it is indeed the perfect time for you. However, we do draw upon the energies of the cosmos to help guide us like a roadmap towards your highest good and your greatest soul's vibration. This is a general collective energy read for the soul sign of Libra. I do set the intention that this reading may resonate with you wherever you may find Libra placements in your chart. If you do not know your chart and your chart placements, you can get a free copy of your birth chart at my website. The information for that is listed in the description box below. And for a limited time, if you subscribe and become a part of the Soul Joiner family, you can also receive a free astrology report as well. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that bell. I would love to have you as a part of the Soul Joiner family. This is a general collective energy read for the weekly preview for November the 21st through the 27th, 2022. You want to always make sure you come to these readings with your soul journey journals so you can write down your affirmation and your journaling prompts for the week and whatever information that comes through so you can reflect on it and utilize it to manifest throughout the week. So we're going to take a look and see where your overall energy is and what your affirmation is for November 21st through the 27th, 2022 for the beautiful collective soul sign of Libra. And so it is. Thank you, Spirit. I am so grateful. All right, Libra. Your affirmation for this week. Ooh, envy. Ooh, okay. So this is something that you kind of already know. That two energy talks about, I know. And this is something that you're already aware of, that there may be some negative energy around you. You could be caught between a transition between where you once were and where you're heading. You have this street paved in gold, but then there's this energy of darkness that is surrounding in the background of this figure. So there's somebody in your periphery, someone in your environment. It's almost like they're on the outside looking in. Everything is abundant and beautiful and blessed going on in your world. But in this person's world, there's nothing but darkness. And that darkness is really related to their mindset because they're sitting in this space of envy. Let's go ahead and look and see what additional messages are coming through for the collective soul sign of Libra. What is Libra need to know spirit for their highest vibrational good for November the 21st through the 27th, 2022 for knowledge, wisdom, perfect self-expression, Safety and stability, power and refinement. And so it is. Thank you, Spirit. I am so grateful. All right, Libra. Let's see what energy is coming through for the week. Coming in on Monday. Yeah. Outside conflicts, competitions, people that are competing with you. This is that crabs in that bucket energy. If you've been elevating, as you see with the streets paved in gold, if you've been elevating, focusing on building and growing, you're moving from that four of wands energy where you've created some form of stability, some form of success, some form of advancement or some kind of attainment in your life. You're really sitting in a very happy and full space, but there's some energies around you that are either in competition with you, they're envious of you, or, you know, they just... 
don't necessarily want to see you grow. Everyone's trying to climb their way up and they're pulling each other back down. So it's like almost like a community or people that are around you that don't want to see you ascend and through their spiritual attacks, they're trying to tear you down. And the energy of Tuesday, yeah, this is something that you're aware of, but you are in a little bit of denial. This is the mind's eye energy that's coming through here with the two of swords. This is you already clearly aware of everything that's going on around you, but you're trying to turn a blind eye to it. It's like you don't want to give it energy. So you figure if I don't focus on it, then I won't give it any energy, right? Wherever your attention goes, wherever your focus goes, energy flows. And so you've just been trying to avoid this. You haven't been speaking. You haven't been communicating. You've just been kind of ignoring whatever is going on around you. But intuitively, you know, right? Because you don't necessarily have to see it with your own eyes. You don't necessarily have to um, experience it or have it in your environment. But intuitively, you know that this energy is around you. What's coming in? Look at this. Coming in on Wednesday, things are happy and bright. That's that streets paved with gold, right? It's like things are happy and bright and brilliant in your world. And that's the things that's changing. You're too stressed. I mean, you're too blessed to be stressed. You're not letting any of the external circumstances, external issues, any problems or anything that other people are dealing with affect you. You're focused on your fullness, your happiness, your joy, your fulfillment in life. And that's the change that you're making. Five energy talks about what's changing and transitioning in your life. And that's the energy that's changing and transitioning. You're focusing on the positive, focusing on things that are happy, things that are abundant, things that are prosperous, things that are helping you grow. You're no longer putting any time, energy, or any focus on anything that's negative. Coming in on Thursday, look at this lover's energy. You're just doing what you love and sharing your time with the people that love you. This is a choice to do what you love and to have the people around you that truly love you as well. This is Sagittarian energy that's coming through with this energy here. And it's just talking about you opening up to the influx of all of the beauty and the abundance and all of the blessings that the divine has for you. I'm getting this energy of just being unapologetically you, which I love. Going into Friday, this is your day. That Venus energy and you're successful, abundant. You're just focusing on your growth. You're not focusing on any of the negativity. You've overcome those obstacles. You're moving forward with balance and harmony. You choose positivity, harmony, and balance in your life. And you're the one that's doing the work. It's like I should be able to unapologetically celebrate my accomplishments because I did a lot of work. I put a lot of effort into all of these things that I'm manifesting and I deserve to be here. And that's the energy that you're in on Friday. You realize that you deserve to be exactly where you are and you deserve all of the happiness, all of the beauty, blessings and abundance that's coming into your life. On Saturday, beautiful soul, look at this, wish fulfillment. You cannot make this up. Everything that you desire and everything that you want is coming in for you. This is Capricorn energy, success in business, success in your career, success in your life, just fulfillment and joy, prosperity and growth. This is a solitary energy though, but I'm not mad at it, right? Because we have to be full before we can call in or actually properly work well with others. So you have to be full from the inside, not looking for external energy to fill your cup, knowing that you are already whole and full within yourself. That makes that loving relationship even that much better because nobody's in it for what they can get out of the other person. Each person is already full and they come into this with the energy of supporting and nurturing and uplifting and supporting each other along the journey. I don't need anything from you. You don't need anything from me. We come together to help each other to grow and expand. Sunday energy. Look at this. <laughs> there goes that four of wands. You're, you're, it's just a beautiful week for you, which I love. You have lots to look forward to. Don't put any time, energy, and attention into anything that's negative. You realize that you have some, you know, haters or some energy around you that don't want to see you grow. But the universe, God, right? This is God energy here is with you along this process. And because you choose you, because you choose what you love, because you choose to continue to focus and glow and grow, 
The glow up is real beautiful, Libra. I love it. Four of Wands energy. You have a lot to celebrate. So celebrate your accomplishments and celebrate your wins, no matter how small or big. The energy look, you've already done the healing. You did the work, you healed, you released it, you let it go. There's no harboring resentments, hard feelings, anything. You're in a very whole place. What tried to break you only built you and made you stronger. So there's nothing to be apologetic about. Just continue to glow and grow. I love it. Let's look at this week in a little bit more details. For the beautiful soul sign of Libra. So, of course, Monday is an energy of Cancer. It's all about the connections that you have. It's also about your maternal energy and your maternal instincts. There's a little bit of conflict around you. It could be your own personal emotions that are in a turmoil because it's internal energy. Moon energy is internal reflections. And there just could be a little bit of a head over heart decision or a little bit of conflict about what you feel and what it is that you know. But you know, of course, what you know will always override and supersede. And it's because the moon is entering into Scorpio on Monday, which is really drudging up and bringing up a lot of deep emotions. So there's some emotional stuff that you just need to transmute, heal and release. But of course, by Wednesday, when the sun I mean, when the um, moon enters into Sagittarius, you're going to be, you know, glowing. Things are going to be healed. You'll be out of that emotional mindset and back to a more peaceful, more positive mindset as well. There's also the energy of the moon. I mean, the sun entering into Sagittarius. It's just illuminating some things. You can no longer hide from them. Right. You can no longer turn a blind eye to blind eye to them. You can no longer be in a sense of denial because you already know intuitively what it is. And so therefore, you're just being reinforced with that energy on Tuesday because of the Mercur of uh, the Aries energy. All is mine. You're getting very clear signals, very clear downloads about what it is that you need to be cautioned about and how you need to move forward. What choices are going to be best for you by the time you move into the energy of a Wednesday? That's that Gemini energy. It's the energy of Mercury. Things are going to settle out. You know, you could have some communication that comes in or just something that you intuitively feel, or intuitively know that's going to help you to release any of the energy of you know, um, pain or hurt or any of the past emotions and energy, you're just releasing them so that you can open up for new blessings, new growth, new prosperity and advancements in your life. You can pull on the energy of Wednesday by wearing the color light green, apricot and oranges. And also you can use the energy of fire opal that'll help you to transcend that negative energy into positive energy and the energy of Thursday. This is an energy step day of 41. So it's creating stability within yourself. And then within that create stability, you're choosing, right? I will be stable against all odds. I will have stability in relationships, in connections. It's like a no settling energy is how I'm getting this. You're not settling for anything less than the best. It's like whatever you put your time, energy and attention into, it has to be equally yoked and on the same high vibration of you. No vibrational energy. I've been, <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm getting that. No struggle love. No more going through those struggle love and trying to make it work and obstacles and hardships and all of those different things that don't serve your highest vibrational good. Releasing it, letting it go. You're moving forward towards only things that are high vibrational and that are for your greatest good. As you move into the the energy of Friday, which is all about your day. It is the energy of a Libra and it's the energy of love. You're loving life, right? You can't get no more love in life than the energy of the six of wands. You're loving life, everything about life and where you are in life. You're grateful because that nine of cups energy just talks about you're in a grateful space. You're in a fill a full space and place and you're happy. You're joyous. Look, the hands are up, which always talks about openness. Hands are up here. Hands are up here. You're selling. Look at this. Hands are up here. You're open. And because of your openness, because of your gratitude, you are receiving beautiful Libra. I love it. Oh, oh, oh. I'm so happy to be a Libra as we move into the energy of Saturday. Wishes are being fulfilled. Whatever those wishes are for you. It's high vibrational. 
very high spiritual energy. Eight talks about the strengths, the overcome, the ability to overcome any obstacles, any hardships, any difficulties. It's also an energy that talks about expanding outside of the constraints of the, the conformity that other people have tried to place on you. You're breaking outside of that box. And that's why you're moving into this energy of cornucopia, where the streets, the buildings and the world is paved of gold because you don't conform to what other people think, feel or say. You chart your own path and you move forward victoriously. So the energy of Sunday, beautiful Libra, Leo energy, happiness and celebrations. So enjoy your time with family. Enjoy your time with yourself. Bask in this energy of joy and happiness and just live unapologetically free. I love it. Let's go ahead and look and see what your journal and prompt is for the week for the beautiful soul sign of Libra living unapologetically free. All right, beautiful soul journaling prompt for the soul sign of Libra for November the 21st through the 27th, 2022. What does Libra need to know spirit for their highest vibrational good? And so it is. I am so grateful. Right, your journaling prompt for the week, 40. <laughs> I love it. What is, has no bearing on what will be. Wow, beautiful energy. Let's go ahead and see what it's talking about. What is, will have no bearing on what will be. I love it. Completely transforming and bringing in completely more stability into your life. For things to change in your life, you have to see things as you want them, not as they are. Chances are you've been focusing on what is instead of what might be. This is a reminder that the outcome you truly want and deserve has nothing to do with the past or what is right now. Although your past played a part in your current situation, it does not dictate your future. When an aspect of your life is not working, you can shift out of it by focusing on what you want for the future. Where you stand right now is a pivotal point. Your future is in your hands. You get to create the experience you want, and the past has no bearing on what can be. Your divine assignment, beautiful Libra, there is no future in your past. The past is over, and the future is not yet. Breathe into the moment and appreciate it for all that it is. You can realign with yourself and the light by focusing on what you want in your deepest core. Step into this higher vibration and avoid falling into negative thinking. Let yourself be drawn to positivity and possibilities of wonder and excitement and choose to focus on what you really want and need. Continue to focus on your ideal future. Now is a great time to create a vision board. Declutter feng shui your home use crystals and candles go on a detox or start a new exercise program movement helps shake up stale energy focus on what type of life you want to live spend the time each day visualizing how you want to spend your day remember to only focus on what you want not what currently is because what you want is on because what you want is on its way to you when you believe and trust your question for the week beautiful libra what does my ideal life look and feel like your affirmation beautiful soul i let go of lack i look at the blessings in my life with joy and satisfaction i am glad that has been your weekly preview. Thank you so much for allowing me to read for you. I am truly honored and I am so grateful. If you haven't already done so, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that like button. Share these videos with those that you believe could benefit from the messages and subscribe. Become a part of the Soul Joiner family where we learn, grow, and expand together. Working to raise the collective consciousness one unique soul at a time. And that unique soul is you. Until our soul paths cross again, soul joiners, I am wishing you love, peace, blessings, happiness, and abundance be on to you. Have a blessed and abundant week. Namaste.